All right, welcome today to our first look at Heaviosity's Mosaic Bass. This is Simeon from praisetracks.com. So first, let's just take a look and see what uh, Heaviosity's uh, Mosaic Bass is. These are more uh, synth-based uh, organic textures and hybrid textures uh, that they've just sampled from all different sources. And so it's just really a, a very cool and different approach. Uh, it's not like a traditional bass library in the sense that we're used to. Here we go. So here is the... Um, the basic interface. And if you have any of the other uh, Mosaic products, the keys or the voices, this is going to be very familiar to you because it's set up in the same way. Basically, you have three uh, sound sources and each can have its own different uh, source. So we're going to go through some of the patches. I'm going to go through some of the patches and uh, we'll just, we're just going to see what, uh, what happens here. So, okay, so mellow, we have playables, rhythms, and pads. And that was one of the surprising things is the pad here. So aggressive, the same thing, playables and pads. Okay, so just let's just look at this first, um, first patch here. You can see the different uh, channel one, channel two, and channel three. You can see the, um, the sources that are listed. So you have synths, subs, drones, and attack sounds. And then I love what they do here on the information. It lets you uh, get an insight into, into what they're using. So some of them are using like, uh, I, I'm guessing it's a PPG because they say a wavetable synth from the 70s. Um, and then others, you've got Synclavier samples and you've got Modular and Oberheims. You've got, I mean, it's just untelling what, uh, what you have uh, here. So let's go ahead. Okay. So this is a meditation. Yeah, so it's not, I mean. And it just makes you want to play, you know. Let's go to the next one. That was a meditation. Now, analog undertones. And just hear that. If you're listening with headphones, uh, you can just hear that, just that, you know, gut shaking lows here. And so that's just like a huge, huge sound. Okay, let's go ahead and. Um, bad mouthing and so this has um a knock operator so this is a synclavier uh sample and then this one here uh is a new england so it's 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 a it's a couple of synclavier patches here and some uh, sampled uh, processed uh, tape uh sounds so let's uh let's check that out wheel, which I've assigned to the first knob on my nano controller. Yeah. So, so yeah, it takes bass in a whole nother different, uh, uh, in a, in a very different direction than, than you would expect and a chopper approach. And so we're going to hear some different things going on here with this. And so you can hear like the, Yeah, and 
I just go where the sounds take me, to tell you the truth. Okay, cryo chamber. Now this um, uses like a, a basic sawtooth wave, some more tape mechanic noises, and um, oh wow, electromagnetic uh, sam uh, samples. Yeah. Then let's see what the mod will does. Yeah, so it, so that affects the reverb and some filtering. That's really cool. Okay, let's keep going. And thanks guys for joining me today. Uh, you know how much I love uh, sharing uh, these libraries with you. Uh, it's just uh, a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, you hear, you, yeah, so you hear a lot of the, that, uh, those attacks. Yeah, here we go. Now. And all of these you can automate in your DAW as well. And, and in live performance, you can map those to your controllers and just hints of the DX. So guess what? I'm guessing that this is going to be like a, yeah, of course, FM, like an FM. brings back a lot of memories we you know I know we heard a ton of that uh, yeah so so we've got the uh, yeah synclavier uh, so synclavier uh, used a lot of the FM okay mirror dream mirror dream so we're gonna just listen to some different things yeah and you know this is not so it's got some glassy um, and I love looking at the sound sources. So uh, blade running. So this is like, uh, oh wow. So this has got some, uh, so they've sampled some, uh, some virtual synths as well, tape, tapes and some, some granular stuff going on there. That's pretty cool. And um, like I said, just let me know if you guys have any questions. Uh, Okay, the subs have it. So let's just uh, do just another one of these. And here again, we have that that absolutely rich, harmonically rich bass. Um, So for electronic and, 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 and you know, heaviosity is so deep, uh, excuse the pun, into sound design uh, that these are great for, you know, soundtracks and that type of thing. So uh, let's go to the, um, the rhythms. Uh, this is a rhythm. Yeah, now we're going to get into some things. Yeah, so that's what I love. I love that when they start just dancing and doing that, doing those cool uh, animated patterns here. So college. Yeah. Okay, let's just try something here. Okay, so let me see what I've got. Okay, so this is what I've got. I've got um, the DM three hundred seven, which is which is um, an incredibly deep percussive uh, rhythm library for uh, uh, contact by Heaviosity, and um, I'm just kind of getting into that. So let's just let's just do this. Let's just do this and see what happens here. 
Just lay, lay, just lay something down real quick. Two, three, four. Okay, so we'll just lay something down a little bit. Okay, so this this is this is just some uh, some loops here. Now let's go back to. Um, okay, yeah, I keep I keep looking for um, for the Terminator to come uh, out in at any minute here when I'm when I'm playing through these things. So here we go. Let's check this out. So this is using DM three hundred seven and uh, Mosaic Bass. Let's do that again. That's kind of cool. Okay, I tell you what we're gonna do here. This is this is gonna be fun. Watch this. So I'm gonna just do something here. Here we go. Here we go. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and come in here and I'm going to stretch, uh, I'm going to stretch this note out. Okay. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to go into the, uh, the pad category. Yeah, let's go into the aggressive pad category. I'm just going to see what. Okay, might as well. Yeah, might as well start with that. So uh, let's take a listen and just see where this takes us. All right. <laughs> now this is in the uh Do this again. I'm going to use more a mellow pad. Let's do a mellow pad. But 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 that was that was pretty pretty wild. Angelic whispers. Let's see. Okay, let's try that again. Yeah. So this is just like right out of the box here. So, yeah, I mean, you've just got these absolutely amazing, thick and rich, harmonically rich pads. And then you can, you know, use that.
control. Yeah, gee whiz. Okay. <laughs> Man. Let's pull up here because I'm going to say, let me save that. Because you never know what uh, what kind of ideas that you can spark with um, some of these things. I want to just trim this back. It's very thick. I mean, I can't... Uh, I'm just so used to um, to thinking about the, um, you, you know, when you say bass, you know, okay, so you think about four or five, six string basses, you know, and, but this is just heaviosity at work again, bringing us just, a, uh, just taking us out of the, out of our thinking and flipping, you know, taking the bass and just flipping it right on its head. That's what we're experiencing here. That's what I've been experiencing with this um, uh, since I've uh, been just messing with it just for, just for a few hours here. The thing is now, now, right now, the introductory price is like ninety nine dollars, and uh, there I think there's a deal if you have other um, mosaic products, then um, uh, you get an extra discount uh, with that. So let's keep going through the through these rhythms and and see where this is going to take us. Um, get it, get it. Let's see. Okay, here we go. So we can see the art. So the ARP is at work here. And you can see how the retriggering works. So, so I can hold it down. So every time you hit it, it starts it. But it's still in sync with your host tempo. Have different uh, chord modes. Okay, so the arp type. Let's just uh, do chord. <laughs> yeah, that's fun. Okay, just a couple more uh, rhythms here. Vint vintage European auto car. Yeah, so it's got some really. Let's look at it. Let's look at the um, sound sources here. Basic square wave, and then um, a deeply processed and reverbed uh, wavetable synth, and then here is another um, tape you know, tape sounds, tape recording sounds. And see, and, and again, yeah. Yeah, you can just mess with that. Okay, so let's go into the aggressive category. Angry but groovy. Very big. Okay, playables. Uh, let's see. Big D tune. So this is going to be. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's just. Let's just. <laughs> I mean. I mean, can, okay, so like if, if you do a film or something like that, can you imagine hearing this like in a, in a theater? I mean. It is just uh, in my ears, and it's just like shaking here. Uh, okay, so aggressive playables. Now, let me just see something here.
That is... Yeah. That is just incredible. Impact of 1979. Let's just take a look. Um, it's a layer uh, of a 70s modular system. So, um, you know, it's like it's like guess guess the source. So I'm I don't know if it's a now system would 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 make me think of it as a Roland, like a Roland modular or something. Uh, so a basic sine wave and then um, impact of 73, uh, larger of the uh, sound uh, sounds from uh, another 70s modular synth. So they've got two of these huge modular things going. And then plus you have the ARPs, you have the macro sequencer where you can assign uh, the different envelopes, EQs to this, um, to this uh, uh, you know, step. It's like a step sequencer that you can assign to control these macro uh, effects, uh, the drive and the gates and different things. You can turn those on and off. And then the, the uh, mounts, uh, how they affect it or adjusted with, with, the, uh, with, with the modulation wheel. And then the master effects, you have EQs and you have the reverbs. And this thing is just like a medium um, chain wave, which is, which is kind of like uh, different, uh, you can almost use the different convolution reverb uh, impulses and get some really crazy effects. Now they've got their signature punish effect here. Let's, let's just see what we can do with this. That brings some more harmonic distortion and overdrive. Let's turn it all the way. Yeah, you can hear those extra little bits of grit going on there. Wow. I just appreciate it. I appreciate all your guys' support. It's just a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Okay, so aggressive uh, rhythms. Oh, well, let me, let me see if I can find something. When I first fired this up, let me just see what, uh, oh man. Okay, oh, there's something, that is pretty cool. Okay, so. Yeah, listen to that. I mean, just just what's going on in that, just holding that note in that sound there. Okay. Yeah, that's bold. In okay, so let's just try this one. Uh, just the... Okay, so the first sound that I heard uh, that I pulled up with um, Mosaic Bass it's kind of like this and um we, we just got to do this i mean it's just uh okay so here again this is a um a drum loop from uh, dm307 and it's in the urban uh, urban group here you know i think that the uh they're just um, they're just really different sounding libraries uh, to me. Um, they they just they they just they do have a character. And if you look in, if you listen to the other demos and stuff, uh, you're gonna you're gonna tell pretty much right away if that if the sound uh, is going to be what you're looking for. Okay, so we want to mute this one.
Okay. All right. Okay. So here, let's, let's see. Let's just see. Let's see here. Okay. <laughs> Oh my gosh. But you can see how, how you can just, you can just go, you can just go with it. You can just go with it. Um, so let's see, I'm going to just save that. It's a lot of fun. I just love, I love it. <laughs> I love it. Okay. So let's go back, um, to some aggressive rhythms, um, spectral driver, uh, <laughs> Hear those filters. Okay, straight through. Let's just see. Joseph Zong, yeah, it's awful. I could just, I can't imagine how, how that would. Wow, that's amazing. Ghost Factory. And these are in the the, the uh, aggressive. You hear all of those little weird. It's like little clocks ticking and different things. Okay, so let's go to some aggressive pads. Let me go. Matrix modulation. Oh yeah, Axel F, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, so uh Something 
like that. Close. A little close. <laughs> so going back to pads, uh, deep vinyl. Uh, deep vinyl. Deep vinyl. Just so grateful, guys. Um, I'm a full-time musician and arranger. Um, I, I do mostly uh, Christian arranging and, and music. I do worship leading and that type of thing. And this is what I've been doing for uh, close to um, a long time. A long time. And my birthday's next week. And so uh, there's some links in the description, <laughs> you know. But uh, the best support is just that you're watching and enjoying and, uh, and just... Uh, just giving me an opportunity to share these great great instrument libraries with all of you guys. Uh, it's just very, it's very rewarding for me. Um, jet flight. Um, and you know, we've got, while we're live, you know, Super Chats are always available and that's a way you can support and subscribe and like and share and do all of that stuff. And uh, then there's other, other ways in the description that you can just support us and, um, And the sounds play me pretty much. I don't I don't really of that sound it's not static it's it's just um, just so much stuff going on the sound sources um, an angry synclavier so yeah and just just think about this think about this so um, when the synclavier first was introduced it was a half a million dollar piece of hardware, uh, when you had the fair lights and the synclaviers and the modulars, um, I remember uh, seeing uh, the, my first uh, uh, glance of, the, of a memory moog, and it was like uh, over 10, 10, 15 grand. Uh, unbelievable. And, uh, you know, a synclavier would fill, uh, you know, if you had everything, it would just kind of fill your whole studio and half a million dollars uh, just for just for that, because of the pioneers that laid the groundwork for us to sit here right now. And um, we're 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 playing these these instruments. And so like when when we have a library that's like ninety nine dollars, it's like, OK, so everything inside of this instrument um, is just from modulars and synclaviers and racks and effects and studio time and everything. So it's it's untelling uh, if you if you aggregated the cost of all of the stuff in there. That's what absolutely blows my mind about these libraries and to, and for them to sound so good. And I can just sit and uh, and I've got it right here. I, I mean, I've got it here in this. Uh, it's just... 
this. It's incredible. Yeah, I have, I have, I have some of those, and it's it's amazing. I can't, I can't imagine. I just can't imagine. Okay, let's just do a few more, and uh, I want to go to some of the mellow. Uh, let's see, let's do a mellow rhythm. Technicalities. Do do a technicalities. Yeah, we 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 have the privilege of having access to these amazing libraries. Jealous? I mean, come on, like it kind of reminds me of Okay. what he says he says I find pleasure and I bring God glory when I run and that's just such a fabulous um, testament and I can say the same thing uh, about myself um, I want to I find joy and I <clears throat> excuse me excuse me um, when I play, to bring him glory, to bring him honor, and um, that's where I find my joy and my glory, uh, to bring him glory, uh, to give back all the gifts that he's freely given to me, just to give them right back to him, and uh, how could I do anything less than that? <laughs> wow. simple but something so powerful it just just goes right there and grabs you and takes you into some into a place that you never I I, I you know unexpected today so that's mosaic keys and mosaic bass together wow man oh wow so there we have it. Uh, I mean, we could literally, literally spend hours going through more of these things. Um, but I tell you, today is a good day. You know, if if this is something that uh, kind of fits in your toolbox, I mean, it's a it's a great. Um, Heaviosity continues to amaze me at what they what they what they do with these libraries, um, and they take something and then they just run it through the Heaviosity machine, if you will, and just turns it upside down and inside out. And it's just very beautiful. Um, yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. Just incredible. Okay. You know what? I will. 
I'll, I'll do a couple more pads, Will. There's so many things here. And that was what was surprising to me as well. Is it's like, I didn't expect pads. I just, you know, thought bases, you know. Uh, we, we get uh, we get kind of kind of pigeonhole things so much. And that's why it's so good for libraries like this that take us out of our comfort zones. And um, so let's go ahead and uh, slow cloud. And this is the uh, mellow category. So here we go. Now that sound, okay, wow. Yeah, the filter. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, see, I'm glad we I'm glad we're gonna do just a couple more of these. <laughs> Cold wind blow. It goes, it goes right there. It just goes right there. It just goes right there. Okay, mellow. One more pad in the mellow section. Um, surfacing. And who knows what I do. Sounds like there's some dogs and seagulls or something going on. Squeaky fractals. Some granular stuff. And you can see in this, uh, in, in, in the source category, uh, you have the ability to, to change the zones uh, for the different parts so the zones don't all have to be stacked on top of each other they can they can be selectively uh, crossfaded and uh, joined together and you have uh, even velocity switching you can velocity switch uh, between the uh, different channels and sample sources uh, with velocity switching and key key ranges which is which is really good zenith let's see what the zenith sounds like here Okay. Okay. Yeah, so here you see the envelope. Right here you can see where that uh, that envelope generator is just making that just kind of come in and swell. that filter down. Okay, let's just check out a couple of aggressive pads. Um, droning tubes, and this is in the pad category. aggressive pads here and jet flight I think we might have already looked this no
one more, one more pad. Uh, oh, do okay. So, okay. Dolly's on a rampage. Oh my goodness. Okay. So you see those envelopes and you hold on to that. Crazy things going on in there. Okay. Oh my gosh. Velasa. A Velasa. A Velasa Rap Borg. <laughs> okay. I don't know how they come up with these names, but it's. Uh... Okay. telling you look look at the you know you've got synth subs drone noises and attack noises and each of these categories has just a boatload of you know okay so this one uh just the synth category has 35 different sources the sub category has um well i don't i don't know i may not be it may not be as accurate with the numbering i don't know exactly how they numbered them but um uh, yeah I'm, I'm telling you, uh, you can you can really dive in and just do a lot of crazy things with these sound sources, especially with what they've done already. They've kind of done a lot of the heavy lifting uh, for you. Uh, so, but uh, that's really amazing. There are so many cool sounds in here. Uh, And they're alive. They're alive. They're just not just just static waveforms and things. They're 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 just they just sound very alive. And uh, so, wow, that's great. So, thanks again, guys, for joining me. And uh, remember, uh, if it's your first time here, to um, you know go ahead and subscribe and click on notifications. And if you have any questions, uh, you know, if, if you rewatch the video, uh, if you're watching the replay, uh, if you have any questions, just leave, leave it in the comments below. And uh, once again, I am so thrilled to be able to bring these beautiful libraries to you. I get so excited. Um, uh, you know, I want to get on here as fast as I can as soon as I get it because uh, it, I just am so excited about it because it just, uh, it, yeah, it's just what I, I just what I love to do. I love to share with you guys and so appreciate you joining me today. And until next time, uh, just uh, you never know. I always say you never know when I'm going to show up next. So thanks for watching me and I hope you enjoyed everything. So we will see you real soon. All right. Thanks.